The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the October 30th. It is the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's have an extraordinary one. Yep, let's have an extraordinary day. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But much more important than that, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered. Let those fingers do the walking. Go ahead, send me an email, steve at tfn.com, inside the subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question. And in our Tiger's Den, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Hump Day Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we've got a mixed market. Well, sort of a mixed market. You've got the Dow is the only indice in the green. It's up 27 points, trading out of 27.099. The rest are in the red. The Dow, not basically flat market, though. The S&P is off a point. NASDAQ 100, 100 down two. Now, the Russell is not flat. It's off 10 points. She's trading out at 16.58. Um, the Wilshire's off 32 points. That's a flat market. Wow, the transport's down 228 points out there. That's a little over 2%. Spot volatility X basically is flat. It's trading out at 13.22. Gold's up six dollars. Silver up three pennies. Lights we'd crude back 67 cents. Natural gas up 15 cents. Another six percent today. Uh, T bonds are up 21. Ticks to 30 year. Leading the charge to the upside, you've got uh, dollar wise wealth care health plans up 13 bucks four percent. And Ixter. International Inc. up $11 or 15%. Netflix is up 9, 3% to the downside. It's little fuse. It's blown its fuse. It's off 15 bucks, 8.5%. Public storage down 14 and change. C.H. Robinson worldwide 13. Boston Beer, Sam Adams off 12 bucks, uh, 3%. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. We'll go to our first question. Uh, first question coming in from Brent in Martinez, California. And uh, I won't read the entire uh, email to you, but uh, Brent wants to go ahead and take a look at uh, uh, ticker symbol SLCA. We looked at that last week. He did not get into this position. That is U.S. Silica Holdings had a big gap to the downside with some big volume in it yesterday. And Brent, I believe, is looking at a larger A to B equals CD. Uh, pattern out here. So we'll take a look at uh, that. By larger, we would go take a look at the monthly time frame. And if we take a look at the monthly time frame, put an A to B equals CD pattern out here. And this is going to help us with regard to a potential price projection area. The A point is the high out here in 2014. The B point looks like, let's see, 1353, 1348. Uh, 1348, is that the low? Yeah, 1348. That was from October 2015. And then your C point is the retracement into February of 2017, about an 80% retracement. So the one that A to B, one to one monthly A to B equals CD pattern, Brent, uh, would take us to about a buck 54 out there. Um, I think I'm using the same numbers that uh, that you are as well. Uh, so that is one possibility, one price projection level out there. What else do we know about Silica Holdings? Hey, look, it's below the daily profile. It's below the bottom, uh, the weekly profile out there. So we've got to see some really good signs of a bottom from each of these charts out here. 
Um, and so let's go take a look at them. Let's go see what the monthly time frame. Let's start there using Stevie's other charts out here. And so as we take a look at those, here's our monthly time frame chart. So we've got the A to B equals CD price projection area. What we also know is that price on a monthly basis has been moving lower, doing less relative energy. So on a monthly basis, if we do see some type of bullish reversal candle, there would be two, count them, two. Um, patterns that would be completing and forming. You'd also want to see price get above Stevie's red line. If you take a look at U.S. Silica Holdings on a monthly basis out here, price has been below Stevie's green slash red line, the oscillator and change line, since uh, April. Looks like April, what was the uh, year out here? Uh, can I get it? Well, let me get it. There you go. It was April of 2017. I guess you could have looked at the bottom of the screen to figure that out. Uh, so that's going to be a that's been a real key deflection point, uh, Brent. And uh, so even if we do get a bottom, you know, that's a level that you're going to want to see price close above. Let's go look at the uh, weekly time frame chart out here. See if there is any kind of. Um, pattern forming. Uh, we can also see that price is moving lower, doing it with less relative energy. This looks to be like week number six of a TD9 count pattern out there, but uh, still a bullish reversal candle uh, could identify a bottom. Now we have had three false alarm, two false alarms, two false alarms with that Rhodes momentum indicator pattern because we did get a bullish reversal signal on a weekly basis, June 21st. You just had a little bit of a bounce for about a month and a half out there, uh, but that didn't really lead to much. We had another bullish reversal signal on a weekly basis in September, September 13th. Um, that didn't amount to much, which is what Brent uh, takes me back to the monthly oscillator and change line as a real key level for U.S. silico holdings uh, in order uh, to uh, get above in order to generate a confirmed bottoming signal. Uh, nothing here on the daily time frame for you and I to pay attention to at this stage of the game. So I hope that helps you out. In summary, I believe you were asking about the A to B equals CD price projection. That one to one area gets you down to a buck 54. You're trading at 536 right now. Hey, let's Let's go out to Denver and speak with Ron. Ron, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Great, Steve. We're snowed in here. Snowed but, uh, in? Oh, man. Now, how many, <laughs> but anyway, how many I was wondering if you could comment about gold sure. and then in particular Barrett Gold, GOLD. I okay. own some calls on GOLD that I just recently bought today. So Bear Gold, uh, ticker symbol G-O-L-D out here. Let's go see what it is uh, doing. Currently trading out at 1694. And um, so it's got some resistance out here. And the resistance, the first level of resistance, just looking at market profiles. We'll take a look at a few other things, Ron. But your first level of resistance out here is about 1705, between 1705 and 1721. Now today's high in this is uh, 17 bucks even Steven. Now the reason why I say $17, which is the center of its profile is resistance is because it's a bearish structured profile. So there are sellers and buyers there, but uh, there's sellers and there's more sellers because there's sellers certainly at the top of the box at resistance level of 1721 out there. So you certainly, so you're running into resistance out here. Um, and that's what we can say with regard to the daily time frame. You've, you've got these calls expire when uh well i did two of them i bought some 17 calls that expire friday friday <laughs> two okay. days from now they okay. cost me 18 cents 18 dollars okay you know, and then right. i have some that go out to right. the middle of, uh, middle of december Okay, uh, Ron, hang on through this uh, break. We'll come back. We'll continue looking at Bear Gold, ticker symbol G-O-L-D. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We're on the line with Ron in Denver, Colorado. Snowed in. Ron, how much snow did you guys get? Yeah, we didn't get a lot, only about four inches the uh, day before yesterday and then another four inches last night. So it depends on where you're at. Got it. So that's eight inches. But, uh, it went down to eight. about minus five. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, hey, come on down, visit us here in Delray. It's probably <laughs> 75, 85 or something like that. But hey, let's get back to... never been down there. <laughs> no, oh, okay, all right. Well, uh, now's a good time, it sounds like. But let's take a look yeah. at Barrett Gold. So here's what we established as we were going into the uh, breakout here. And that is uh, that the price is trading above the daily bottom of its box, above the weekly bottom of its box and that's support and those two levels there are 1672 and 1668 so as long as price remains above that i can't uh, suggest you to go ahead and bug out so to speak um because you know these support levels may hold that 1705 1721 those are going to be critical areas uh, for you if i take a look at the daily time frame chart using my other tools i don't have any kind of bottoming pattern out here all i really see is a series of uh, uh, lower highs and lower lows, We, even though it's been moving sideways for the past uh, couple of weeks out here. Uh, so I don't see anything there. Now, with regard to time, if we look at that weekly chart here and we take a look at its sideways move, last week was, a, uh, was bar number eight of a TD setup nine count. Now, as long as price closes this week, Below the close of, uh, well, below this price, let me give you the price here, it's below... 1775, uh, you will have a confirmed TD setup nine count bottoming pattern out here. And that would be another reason why I'd say, hey, look, okay, it's Wednesday. I don't know how gold is going to react. Gold, the precious metal, obviously, nor do I know how gold, Barrett Gold, is going to respond. But I, I there's enough signals here to, I, I don't want to talk you out of the trade. Um, you know, what you're going with is the mere fact of you're, you're taking this trade based upon not a bottoming pattern yet, uh, but just simply based upon price moving back to key levels of support for daily and weekly. Okay? I figured gold would be the catalyst to move the stock. And gold was 
is up this morning. So I think it depends on, to me, near term, depends what gold's going to do. Yes. Yeah, so then if we take a look at gold here, what gold is doing is gold so far, what it's done, it's made its move today up to Stevie's red line. And that is held as resistance. Even if price got above Stevie's red line, 1509 is a key resistance level out here. So, and uh, when we take a look at the precious metal gold, it has a falling price oscillator below zero. So here's the deal. If you see gold sell off after the uh, Fed announcement on its uh, rates out here, um, you know, get out with as much as you can. Because the, okay. the chart here for gold is suggesting at 121 in the afternoon that even though it's rallied five bucks or whatever that is right now, uh, that was nothing more than a counter trend rally up to resistance. Okay. I appreciate that very, very much. Hey, my pleasure. My pleasure. And best of luck to you. Thank and, you. Thank uh, you. Come on down and join us when you get tired of that snow. That was Ron in Denver. Uh, so we were going to, what are we going to do? Oh, I know what we want to do. We want to take a look at our next uh, question that has come in. Uh, this one coming in from Bob. Bob wants to take a look at natural gas. Bob says, I'm ready to go short. I don't think it can get through here. So if we go take a look at natural gas, oops, let me change this to the December contract out here. Um, and what's natural gas doing? So if we take a look at profiles, if we take a look at a weekly profile, Bob, you're looking at the level of $2.68. And if you see a close above that, um, then you really need to see some type of topping pattern uh, inside of, uh, of natural gas out here. So yes, price has made it up to a resistance level, uh, but the question becomes, are, do we see any type of topping signals or patterns out there in order for you to go short. So let's go take a look at natural gas using some of Stevie's other tools out here. If we take a look at the December contract for natural gas. Here's the thing that it's also doing, Bob, is even though it ran into resistance at the top of the weekly profile, that is important. Price is trading about $2.64 out there. 2.639 is the actual price using the TD setup nine count where price had previously broken down. Yesterday's close was right on that line. Today we're trading above it. I don't know what it's going to be at the end of today. But if there is a close above 263, this is suggesting to you that natural gas has a change in trend. And if we use the A to B equals CD pattern out here, like Brent and I were for U.S. Silica Holdings, this is a large A to B equals CD pattern out here. The one to one level would get us up into about the $2.86 area. Uh, that would only be one to one. This would be suggesting uh, actually the A to B equals CD pattern based upon the explosive move over the past uh, five, six days out here, that uh, price would make a run for the 305 area. That's with the daily time frame. Now, there is no topping signal. This is one of the reasons we went to take a look at this chart and say, okay, is there some type of topping signal? What Bob might be looking at is prior high out here, the so-called B point of the A to B equals CD position. And he's saying, hey, this may not get above that swing point out there. Okay, so let's just say that Bob has corrected his analysis out here. I'm not saying that he's not. But if he is correct, what we should see is we should see key levels of support in short-term time frames fail to hold as support. So those are going to be these red horizontal lines on my screen out here, Bob. We're taking a look at the 30-minute time frame chart, the 60-minute time frame chart, and the two-hour time frame chart. And on the 30-minute chart, price is trading above a key level of support. That would be $2.62. Just below that is $2.60. And below that, $2.55. I'd say if you see it close below $2.55, then you're probably on to something. But at this stage of the game, there's a TD setup nine count top on the 30 minute time frame. So you can see where it topped and it's just been moving sideways out here. But what you don't have, what I would prefer to have for you to go ahead and consider a short position is to see short term levels of support in natural gas fail. And we just don't have it as we take a look at the chart. So hopefully that analysis assists you with what you're thinking. And I certainly see uh, one of those key levels out there, which is the weekly top of that profile that is resistance, but still no other topping signal. So best of luck uh, to you. Any other questions? Let me see here that have come in. We do have one, but I see Ruby was uh, was the first. She wants to take a look at the uh, December hogs out here. So let me see if we can go find that. 
Uh, in, um, give me a second. I'll tell you what, Ruby, uh, let's do, uh, we're coming up to a break in about a minute. So during the break, I'll get all that set up uh, for you. In the meantime, let me go take a look at this uh, next question that came in. Uh, this will be a little bit easier probably to get to. It's Apple. And the question here is, uh, what do you see for Apple going into earnings? So Apple's got a brand new profile that formed today. And uh, Kumar, that is $2.38, $238.93. Is the bottom of its box? It's a bullish structured box. The top of the box is 249 out here. So I don't see. I do see yesterday's bearish reversal candle. So we're going to go take a look at Stevie's other charts out here and quickly see if there was any kind of topping pattern in play as it was making that bearish engulfing candle. And um, you know, yesterday was bar number eight of a TD setup nine count, but right now that pattern is going to go away. I don't see a top on a daily basis inside of Apple out here. And this suggests that price may just pull back to 238.93. Now below that would suggest 215.13. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So, uh, hey, during that break, I, I read uh, Kumar's question a little bit uh, further. And uh, so he's got some puts in this. Uh, and, you know, so... Look, if you're asking what is it that we see today, 
uh, on the daily time frame chart, you know, yesterday's bearish reversal candle, key reversal candle. Um, you know, price could easily get down to 238.93. Doesn't have to do it today. Could do it by Friday. Could you know? But but if I look at the weekly time frame chart, this is the one that is a little disturbing uh, to me, and is going to suggest that I'm going to suggest that you go ahead and take your profits at this stage. If we look at the longer term or weekly time frame chart, we can see that what Apple's done is it's a uh, it appears to be completing a uh, both a TD setup nine count pattern. In fact, it did I already did that last week was bar number nine. We've made a higher high this week, but we know inside this pattern uh, that higher high can certainly come on the bar following bar nine. But that's one pattern that's out there. We can also see the larger A to B equals CD pattern. Now, it's only Wednesday. If you're asking me to make my decision as 131 in the afternoon, I've got to go with the information that I've got here. And at this stage, we've got a bearish reversal candle at the completion of that one to one A to B equals CD pattern. And uh, again, we won't know until Friday what kind of candle forms. But if it were to be a bearish reversal candle, that was your sell signal in April. Now, sell signal meaning price would go ahead and take its way down to the Stevie's green line in the 230 area, right? Now it's printing out at 23056. So I don't like what I see on the weekly chart. On the monthly chart for Apple out here, it doesn't mean that these patterns are going to, to work. But if we take a look at the monthly time frame chart, this is going to be or should be bar number eight of the TD setup nine count out here. And prices moving higher, doing less relative energy out there. So rather be safe than sorry, you don't have much time left on your hands. You say you are in the money. I say, based on what we're taking a look at, go ring that register. Now back to Ruby, who wanted to take lean hogs. Uh, Ruby, my apology. I was trying to get lean hogs up on my other system so we could see if there was some kind of bottoming pattern or topping signal or anything. And I just couldn't do it. So here's the weekly time frame chart for you. And and uh, price is trading right at the point of control, the center of its weekly uh, market profile. That level for lean hogs for December is 64.42 out here. You're trading at 64.32. So um, why does it say daily? What the heck is going on here? Hold on a second. Really strange. That is strange. It's my data box. It says top D. Let me see. Let me see here. What do we got? Wow. Okay. So, so hold off on that. Yeah. What is what? What's happening here, Ruby? What's happening here? Uh, so I've got the same profile. Skip. Skip what we just said about the weekly. Okay. Um, let me just open up the uh, daily because it appears that I'll have to go take a look at that weekly chart, see what the heck's going on. But he, he, what price is doing? Still the same thing. What I was referring to with regard to market profile clearly appears that it was the daily profile. So glad that I looked there. And price is sitting right at that area. Now, this could be a level of support. But your question is, uh, can I look at it to sell to take some profits? Thanks. This is a bearish structured profile out here. And even though price for quite a while was above that level, which is 67.27, you're now below it. You're at the area where, where both buyers and sellers on a daily basis believe there's fair value out here. Um, any significant close below this is going to go ahead and take price down to 58.72 out there. So you're in the sideways consolidation. Um, on the short term, I don't really have anything here on the short term time frame for you. So, uh, Ruby, I wish I had more information. That's all that I've got. I give you all that I've got out there. And uh, best of luck with your decision there as well. So let's see if there's some other questions that have uh, come in. If not, we'll just uh, cruise around Stevie's charts, get a feel for what the markets are communicating to us. So I don't see anything else. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to switch over to the other daily time frame charts out here. And, uh, and in doing so, what I'm going to first do is we're going to take a look at, let's start with the S&P 500. So let's take a look at the S&P 500. I know normally you and I, we take a look at the equity futures contracts and, and, and we'll, we'll do that again. But if you take a look at, if you're wondering, is there a signal out here? Is there a signal of a top inside the S&P 500? And the answer, my friends, is yes. Yesterday was a bearish shooting star candle. And today you're getting follow through out there. Now, the pattern that we're taking a look at is the A to B equals CD pattern. Now, this is the A to B equals CD pattern. 
that is uh, coming off of the low out here from, so your A point was out here on October 3rd, your B point was October 7th, your C point was the October 8th low out there. So it's made a, the S&P that is, has made a one to about 1.618 A to B equals CD pattern. And, uh, and so in this case here, you've got a topping pattern inside the S&P 500. So what Stevie says at this stage is I would not be surprised to see the market sell off uh, after the uh, Fed announcement, not necessarily right after the Fed announcement, by the end of the day, based upon the uh, topping pattern inside the S&P. If we take a look at the Dow, the Dow is up eight points right now. What's the pattern inside the Dow? You've got a Gartley sell pattern. Uh, that bearish reversal signal pattern out here has not been taken out. Uh, so we do have a active Gartley sell inside of the Dow Jones cash indice out here. If we take a look at the NDX 100, we were just looking at Apple that said caution. Well, the NDX 100 completed a one-to-one, -one, A to B equals CD pattern. Uh, when I say completed, it's because of yesterday's bear sash candle. So you do have a topping pattern that is in play inside the NDX 100. Now, this may just push price back to 79.85 as your next buy the dip, because that's Stevie's green line. You'd like to see price close below that to confirm some type of top out there. But nonetheless, you do have a completed pattern. How about in the Russell 2000 cash indice out here? What did price do? Price yesterday got right up to its breakdown level of 1581.30 and since then has sold off. Does the uh, Russell 2000 have a topping pattern? And the answer, my friend, is no, it doesn't. Not like an A to B equals CD, not like a TD setup nine count, not like a wave number seven out here. But price did hit resistance in essence to the T and is sold off. And so that alone could say the end of the counter trend rally is in play for the Russell 2000. So we can go with a checkbox that says, yeah, the Russell 2000 has indicated a top. Now let's take a look at the transports out here. Having a horrible day. What did the transports do? Well, they did not complete an A to B equals CD pattern because there was no bear reversal candle yesterday. Today is a different story. Today is a gap to the downside. No, this pattern here, the A to B equals CD pattern I'm looking at out here, this is probably like a 1 to 2 or beyond that. Yeah, 1 to 2.618, 1 to pi out there, 314%. Uh, that would be the only A to B equals CD pattern that I could draw for the transports. But today is generating its bearish reversal candle for it. So now we are basically, what, 5 for 5 out there? Let's go take a look at the size. In looking at the cash indices out here, if we take a look at the socks, what did it do? So it didn't completely get up to the one to one price projection. That would have been 1716. It got up to about 1700 yesterday, bearish engulfing candle. This qualifies for Stevie as a sell the D point. So now, what the indices have done, at least the cash indices, they are 646. Six. And we could go on, folks. If we take a look at the Wilshire 5000 out here, the Wilshire 5000 today appears to be confirming a sell the D point of the A to B equals CD. So John in the Tiger's Den, is there a top out here is the question. You tell me. What do the cash indices tell us? We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So the uh, the question that uh, John and the Tigers Den was actually asking was about ticker symbol, not the actual equity markets, ticker symbol T-H-T-M-H-C out here. That stands for Tyler, Ty Taylor, Taylor Morrison, Home Corp out there. And the question is, is it a major top? Now, this thing gapped down today. Uh, good volume behind it. So far, about 2.5 million shares out here. Price below the uh, daily profile, above the weekly and above the monthly. So those would be support levels, those being 22.99 and 20.76. In order for the uh, for us to say there might be a major top out here, we need to see some topping signals and patterns on the longer-term chart. So let's go take a look at the monthly time frame chart. Let's work monthly, go to the weekly, and voila, when we take a look at the monthly part, monthly part or chart, but it's really the chart we're looking at. What we can see is we can see that last week was a confirmed TD setup nine count, and now price has sold off. We can also see that that nine count pattern formed right where you had breakdown resistance, 2592, very much like what we just looked at in the Russell 2000 cash indice out here. Now, the Russell 2000 did not have any type of other topping pattern, just simply price getting up to resistance. So here you've got a valid topping pattern. John, the first conclusion that we would draw here is when you see these topping patterns is uh, sellers should be able to push price down to support. So the first level of support inside the monthly time frame for TMHC is going to be 2163. 2163 is above the top of that weekly profile which is 2076. We say 2163 because that is Stevie's green line at this stage. Now, obviously, as price moves up or down and uh, or sideways out here, Stevie's green line number will uh, change. But so roughly the 2160 areas where price should move to next out here um, is at a major top. It's a significant top, that's for sure. It ain't no bottom. We know that. And because it's got a top and you're at a prior high, just short of a prior high out there, uh, worth noting and paying attention to. But let's go take a look at the weekly time frame chart out here. What the weekly time frame chart for this equity for good old Taylor Morrison home 
uh, suggest. Well, last week happened to be a TD setup nine count top out there. Price is already below Stevie's green line. So the weekly chart is really confirming what you and I just discussed on the monthly time frame chart is that price should head lower. Now, the weekly time frame chart says 2277 is its next price target. That is where price broke out using that TD setup nine count. If price closes below that, what it does is it adds to your case that uh, this is a major top out here. That's what the weekly time frame shows. The daily, I can just see simply by looking at the uh, daily uh, time frame chart out here, it's going to be hard to, unless there's a TD setup uh, way, uh, count out there, uh, this thing has just been a huge stair-stepping program. Um, there is an A to B equals CD. So let's go draw that. What, let's go see what that would look like out here. And we can see the bearish reversal. Wow. A number of A to B equals CD patterns. Um, so instead, because of all because of all that, let me just look at the weekly. The weekly A to B equals CD. Look, there's A to B equals CD patterns out there. So uh, we don't we don't need to go through this exercise. Uh, uh, you know, just be futile uh, today out here. So hey, the answer to my the answer to your question is it a major top? It's a top. It's a top on the weekly. It's a top on the uh, day on the uh, monthly chart out there. And this suggests that Taylor Morrison Home Corp has got further to go to the downside. So I hope that that answers your question. Let's go to our next question out here. And folks, really thanks for for sending these email requests or calls like Ron uh, from uh, Denver, John and the Tigers and Ruby and the Tigers. And it just makes uh, the hour. Well, first, it goes by very quickly. But then it's also just so helpful to you, I think, and others out there, because we get to look at all these different charts. We change things up, so to speak. Hey, talk about changing things up How about that the World Series game seven tonight. You got to love it. You've got to love it. If you're a sports enthusiast. There's nothing like Game Seven doesn't matter whether it is the Stanley Cup, uh, or the uh, the World Series, the uh, you know Game Sevens. They're a beautiful thing. But the uh, next question, uh, so I don't get too sidetracked, because I could get sidetracked, as you know. Uh, Dennis G writes in. He says earnings after the close today for Universal Display. That's ticker symbol O L E D. And uh, no, John, I don't want extra innings tonight. I struggle to stay up past the sixth inning, seventh inning. It's like ten. The other night, the other night, it was 11.30, right? It was 11.30, and it was only the seventh inning, sixth or seventh inning. It was a school night. We've got class in the morning, folks, out there. But um, so I prefer it to not be, you know, extra innings, because once you're in, you're in. You know what I mean? Eh, whether it's till 1 o'clock in the morning or what have you. And then even what, what, what Dennis is asking about is, is O-L-E-D, and he's in the money. Uh, which is a beautiful thing. He's asking, should he take profits out here? Well, here's what we know about universal display at this stage of the game. At this stage of the game, price on a daily, weekly, and monthly time frame are trading, trading in between their TAS market profiles. The daily resistance level is 184.10. You're 172.42. You didn't completely get up to the top of that box out here. The weekly is a nice bullish structured weekly profile. Uh, we're going to go check, see if there's any bottoming signals out here to help Dennis answer that question with regard to, hey, what's OLED? going to do after the uh, bell out here and as long as price stays above 165.23 you're okay now you're in the money um, I don't know if that means uh, you've got uh, call options I, but I don't know what you've got it doesn't really matter out here uh, so with regard to OLED uh, all that talking I forgot to put the uh, symbols in on the other charts out here let's go look at the daily time frame see if there's any other signal that you and I can find on Stevie's uh, Ninja Trader charts out here, all the other tools, and and uh, so when it made a bottom, I don't have I don't I don't have an effective uh, bottom that I like to see out there. Uh, there was a TD setup nine count, but the low came in on bar number seven, so I'm hesitant to call that a bottom out here. And this looks like price just simply moving in between support and resistance, with support at that 160.46 resistance, like we talked about at the 180.15, and then even more resistance up at 182.61. That is where price broke down on its TD setup nine count. So you're close to resistance. Again, I don't know your timing on this. When this made its high out here, OLED, and this would be helpful to you, Dennis, it did it with 
that roads momentum indicator pattern out there. Price movement higher, doing less relative energy the year. Is your shooting star. That was the week, uh, the day of September 7th, the following day, follow through on September the uh, 10th. That created a bearish engulfing. It created a Three River Evening Star. So it told you prices were headed lower. We don't have that same pattern in the opposite direction now telling us that prices are headed higher. It's not that they can't, but you are up near resistance. And if uh, you're – and is there a tell? There's no tell, right? So there's no tell. And that's what we look for, our tells. Is there a tell on the weekly basis? Well, let's go look at it. On a weekly basis, this is a perfect example of utilizing these support and resistance, these breakout support, breakdown resistance areas. If you take a look at what happened on a weekly basis, also confirming a Rhodes Momentum indicator top. And what did price do? Sellers were able to take price right back to support. Where was support? Support was 165.36. As price got down there, this is the week of, the week of, the week of October 4th, a nice hammer candle. So this is suggesting that price could bounce to 191.40. That's on a weekly time frame. I don't know if you have the time to sit that one out. And on a monthly basis, here's the problem with OLED. Last week, well, it's not a problem, and I'll explain why when we come back from this break. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of living a primal lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN.
so my, my pause on OLED was the fact that uh, it looked like it's uh, forming a TD setup nine count pattern out here. But for this month, uh, price would have to close above uh, bar number five and bar number five the close there was 188.06 you're at 172.04 so this pattern effectively as of 154 is not truly active we won't know obviously until uh, we get to November 1st or October 31st and tomorrow and it's a close out there trick-or-treat so I don't have a tell for you and and so without a tell uh, I'm going to need you, uh, Dennis, to rely on uh, your skill set, uh, what got you into the trade out there. Again, I don't know your time frame. So I don't know your time frame. I don't know if it's a call option that expires in a couple of days. I, um, so it makes it even more difficult for me. Uh, so uh, hopefully that helps you out. Uh, try to be as much help as I can. I do see a bottom on that weekly time frame, though, and that would be a key area to watch. So as we uh, go into this last minute here, folks, as you know, the Fed's going to come out uh, in roughly about uh, five and a half minutes here or uh, is going to tell us what they've decided. I don't have a real. So the tells in the market, you and I went back and we were going through each of the cash indices out there. We have not taken a look at the equity futures contracts out here. But in the uh, cash indices, all kinds of tops. You and I looked at them. I don't have that, by the way, inside the ES Mini. So we got a conflict out here. So the equity futures contracts are not showing the topping signals. Not true with regard to the YM. Uh, but with regard to the ES Mini and the NQ, it's not there. And maybe today is a lower low and we get a higher high tomorrow or the next day, creating wave number seven. That would be letter G. It's possible that there's an A to B equals CD to the upside, 3105. So if there's a tell out there, it's coming from the cash indices. And if there is a tell that there's a change in trend out here, one of the things that we will see is we will see levels of support on the short term time frames fail. And inside the ES Mini, it was already tested today. And that was at 3025, and that held. Likewise, resistance is held, and that's 3037 to 50. That's your sideways market. I don't know which way it's going to move, but if it sells off, it will not be a surprise based upon the messages from the cash indices. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Look forward to seeing you on Trick or Treat Thursday. I'll wear a costume. Don't worry.